it's very early in the morning for me. <laughs> so I'm doing I'm doing this early because I I couldn't sleep. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. How about just wait for this to be done, get the results, and see this car because. As you may know, I mean, I'm sure most people already know him by now who's been watching him. I've been doing this Grand Prix of the C7R. Surprisingly, this is probably going to be my first time getting a Grand Prix car since I got completely shitted on from the fucking SC18 that made me cry. Not actually cry, but sadness. Just, just pure sadness. Before well before we before we do start well, hold on actually it's still calculating sh okay so before before we do start this this is gonna be a well I, I guess a review about my experience with this car <laughs> this car has a severe problem of ramps it has uh what. A ramp down center. I don't even know if I can call it that. This is just like the car. Okay, so what I immediately noticed when it was one star, this car did not want to do ramps for the life of it. But as I kept playing with the car throughout this Grand Prix, I have noticed a good couple of things about this car when they came to ramps from one star to two star and all that. Deep, I'm, I want to say depending on how big that ramp is. Like if it's big enough to where the car is like it's not going to do more than one barrel. Maybe it's because of how big the ramp is. So you probably have to hit a certain sweet spot on the ramp when you're coming off of it to get more than one barrel. At least when it comes to like the car not really accelerating that good. As much as I don't like, I, I don't know how much sense that makes. This is just me talking about what I thought about the car when I was using it. Like one star, it was bad. Top speed wise, I mean it's okay, it's okay. I mean I got it at four stars, so I, the top speed for it is one ninety three miles an hour. I think. I think, and I don't know. I, well, of course the Fira has a higher top speed, of course, and generally, you know, a better car overall than the C seven. The C7 is pretty much like DNA stolen from the Ferrari, put into a Grand Sport, converted it into a track car, and then there you have it, a C7R. The Ferrari's, the Ferrari's, what, cousin, maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drifting. In one star, terrible. I mean, it was terrible. But going up to what? Going up to at least three star is not as bad. I mean, it's still bad, but it's not as bad. It's like it's 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 tolerable, I guess, if that makes any sense. It has a okay. There's okay. I don't I don't know if this just I don't know if it's something that needs to be mentioned I mean it's not a bad thing but it's a weird thing so there's this part of the car where it, no matter what color you change the whole car it still has that 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 fade I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about that yellow fade that's in the back of the tr that's on like the trunk part of the car yeah it's black like it's the like the weird part about it i don't even know if it's a glitch or if that's just how they intended on how it uh, huh, huh. i'm not sure if that's just a glitch or is it intended on doing that but it's just a black and then depending on where the car and then depend, depending on where the camera is when you're using the car it has that yellow fade so it pretty much has like the stock colors of it but well it combed out very deeply with some with some black in it and it just only shows the yellow depending on where the camera is it's weird it's hard for me to really explain it but i'm sure i'm sure y'all know what i'm talking about it's like it's weird 
So yeah. Is this is this done? It's still calculating. I forgot. Thirteen minutes, Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll be right back in thirteen minutes. And we're back. Apparently it didn't exactly take thirteen minutes. They actually took way less than it. I guess that was just the estimated time that you just needed to wait. That you know what? Let's just do it. Just forget that I even said that. Oh lordy. Okay, so before I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my cucks. Claim this day. <laughs> Remember my hands like Birdman. <laughs> yeah, something. Jeez, all these. Jeez, man, all these Aventadors. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You know what? Just pretend that I never said that. Jesus Christ. Dang, man. <laughs> A four star C7. Jeez. See that yellow part? See what I'm talking about? My God. Took this this took so much effort to fucking and I and it's not like I started up so I have a better chance at getting the car. I only started up because I wanted the car. And nine times out of ten, I wasn't gonna feel like trying to start up afterwards. So yeah, like I just didn't I just didn't care. I'm like I'd rather just start up during the Grand Prix than after the Grand Prix because if you're certain that you're going to get the car, you can just start up while you're doing the Grand Prix, so you don't have to worry about it afterwards. That was the C7R Grand Prix. Then me talking about how I basically cucked into getting second place. Like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Don't, don't forget about the Rocket League giveaways that I'm still doing. I sound so cringy when I start to say this stuff at the end. I'm not I'm not gonna hold you up. Don't forget about the Rocket League giveaway. That's that's still going. I'm pretty sure some of them like, Ooh, this is fake. Bro, you know you ain't about to do that, bro. It's a whole type that's a whole titanium with all type person, bro. You just trying to you just trying to troll me, bro. Like I'm not I'm not joking. Like I, st I stopped playing Rocket League. I still play it, but I don't play it a lot. I gave up on the game. There's no way I can actually play it on a consistent level like before. Bro. You can always look at the video too, because it's the first thing that will show up when you click on my channel. So if you're really interested, you know, share it. Show a bunch of people that play Rocket League that's probably interested in getting this thing. Because I'm sure a lot of people will actually want a whole preset. And when I say preset, I mean preset. It's not just the titanium white octane. You at least get a what? A T a titanium white ROCS octane decal with titanium white armor. So it's like you're not really missing out on anything. You're getting like a whole package and I'm out. <laughs>